Okay. Next, we will try to um, discuss about training phase. For a training phase, uh, I hope that we can get a more intuitive meaning how the RPN and fast RCNN can share CNN block. Here are the four step training to train faster RCNN for to be capa capable of detecting object. This object belongs to cat, dog, human, car, and so on and so on, and output the burning box. Okay, and I will talk the detail of uh, for each step in the next slide. But before it, I will. Uh, talk about the training pro properties first. The first is waiting value initializations. Uh, the, we will use uh, Gaussian function, zero mean, and 0 0.01 standard deviations. And the second one for learning rate, they will use 0 0.001 for 60,000 mini pets, and for to uh, 20,000 next pets, they will decrease which is 0 0.0001 for the learning rate. And the third one for learning update scheme, they will use momentum update for constant 0 0.9. Uh, maybe we already feel familiar about uh, gradient descent, right? Gradient descent is uh, like update scheme to update a parameters so that after we update parameters, we will get uh smaller and smaller of error yeah but in this paper we not use uh gradient descent but we use momentum update and the fourth one we uh they use wake tk 0.005 and this is just the uh, uh detail detail equations of momentum update you can just see here I take it from uh, Jeffrey Hinton Un University of Toronto course in Coursera and this is just in the detail of equations correspond to weak TK is lambda here this is for regu regularization clause okay the first one step one for step one, we want to try to uh, train um, RPN here. We already talked about RPN in the previous video, right? In the previous part video. And RPN, okay, still here. This is fast, R, a faster RCNN. And RPN is inside the um, blue square box here. Okay, we have dataset training, we have CNN architecture, we have fully connected layer parameters, and we have output. Okay? So, we have two block of parameters. CNN part, and the second part is fully connected part. For CNN, we just use pretrained from ImageNet, because pretrained from ImageNet is already good for feature extractions. Okay? And for this number of waiting value parameters you can calculate by 4 plus 2 times uh, here 512 times 9 we will in initialize with these functions Gaussian function 0 mean and with standard deviation 0 0.01 we will try to train this uh, network so that this network become capable of producing uh, this proposals area proposal regions okay and the next one oh sorry still talk about the first step uh, as we see that faster rcnn use nine anchors to address uh, scale invariant and ratio invariant, right? Uh, this is the average of learned proposal size for each anchors using ZFNet. Okay, 
This is the specification of anchor. I draw the corresponding anchor above. For example, this one is corresponding to this one. This anchor is corresponding to this number anchor and so on and so on and so on. And this anchor is corresponding to these numbers. Okay. For example, we pick one here. Uh, this one, the ratio is to one. Okay. To one. So the height is uh, two times 256, which is uh, 512. And the width is 256. Okay. So after training uh, this network, we have average boarding box predictions here. 516 times 200 and 200, uh, 229. Okay. So uh, maybe this box predictions is good for detecting three because we know that three, the height is longer than the width, right? And maybe for this anchor, so uh, is okay for detecting a big tree. Maybe this one is for detecting a small tree. And maybe for this one, this type of anchor, it is good for detecting car because we know that the width size of car is longer than the height. And maybe for box is to detect uh, animal maybe like cat, dog, and, and so on. So again, why we use uh, nine anchors here? Because we want to address the, the different scale of object and the different ratio of objects in object detections. Okay. Uh, the second step, we will try in the detector. The, the detector here is, is uh, fast RCNN. At row here, this is faster RCNN. And which part is fast RCNN from faster RCNN is all of the faster RCNN, but, but still with external proposers. Okay, I draw the detail architecture here. Okay, and the first one is input image. For, for input image, we know that fast RCNN still need external proposers, right? For example, selective search. But in this training, we use the input for uh, from RPN region proposal network. So this image already have region proposal from image uh, from RPN. Okay, so feed forward to CNN, and then running this, we have two block of parameters again, block CNN and block fully connected layers, and. For CNN, we again use pre-trained for uh, from ImageNet. This is new, so this is new. Uh, we we not use parameters from uh, with from step one, but we new we new pre-trained from ImageNet. Okay, and then for fully connected parameters, we again we initialize by using this Gaussian functions. And the third step, we try to train again the proposers. Why? Why? Because we not use CNN from first step from training RPN, but we use the parameter of CNN from step two, which is for training detector. So it is different. Okay. Because of the difference of this part, CNN, we have to fine tuning. We have to do fine tuning this part, okay? Because we do fine tuning this part, we will generate a slightly modified compare uh, proposal region, region proposals compared to step one, okay? And then next to, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, for this part, we keep these parameters cnn parameters to be fixed to be fixed uh, it means that the waiting value in this cnn part are fixed so we only fine-tune these parameters okay 
And for the next step, we try to train detectors. Detector, okay. Uh, again, we use the input from step three, and because from step three, the region proposals uh, has a little modifications, okay. So we have to fine tune this for detector, okay. And again, we use the CNN from previous step, and we keep these uh, parameters fixed. And this is the summary. I do uh, I sum I do summary here uh, to make it easier to be understand. And I will try to talk again. First step, we train this network for RPN. We use this pre-train from ImageNet and we initialize by using this Gaussian functions, okay? And after it, we already have a network that capable of producing region proposal shears and we use image here for input here for detector. We try the detector using CNN uh, uh, again from new pre-trained from ImageNet and for fully connected parameters to be initialized by Gaussian function again. And for the step three, we use CNN here from step two here because the CNN is different with CNN from step one. So we have to fine tune these parameters of fully connected parameters, okay? Because of we fine tune this, we will get slightly different proposal regions compared to step one here, okay? And we will use this to step one to train detector again. Because of we have a little modification here and we still use CNN same with the previous and we fix this, so we have to fine tune here, okay? So finally, we have RPN here and we have detector here, which is fast RCNN. And I draw the corresponding architecture here. We have detector here, RPN here. We have, uh, I'm sorry, uh, we have detector here, detector, and we have RPN region proposer here, here. So this one plus this one become fast, faster RCNN. And I will show you here we have CNN that has a uh, same parameter with this CNN okay RPN CNN of RPN is same with CNN in detector right so here and here is same so we can only use one CNN on faster RCNN that's why we uh, mention it as sharing CNN and I will show you in the result that by sharing, RCN, uh, by sharing CNN to generate the region proposal here only need 10 milliseconds, which is really, really fast compared to if we use selective search. If we use selective search, it will need about one, one, one point half second. Yeah, so this is really fast compared to if we use external proposals. Okay, you get the point, I hope. 